Democrats tonight will watch Republican presidential hopefuls battle for position and perception in the Iowa caucuses, the official start of the 2012 campaign. But the Dems won't stay above the fray for long. We're joined live by Boca Raton Democratic Congressman Ted Deutsch. First of all, Happy New Year to you and yours, and thanks Thank for being you. with us. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Good to be here. Your take on the caucuses, first off. Well, I, I don't really know who's going to win, but I take a look at what all of the candidates tonight share. Uh, they all want to repeal Wall Street reform. They all want to uh, raise premiums on the prescription drug prices. They all want to uh, double down on the, the failed Bush economic policies, which exploded our deficit and almost put us into a depression. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to come out of this, but we know that on the big issues, we know exactly where they stand, and it's not really on the side of working Americans. Congressman Deutsch, those are Democratic talking points I've heard elsewhere this week from Washington. All of you are on the same page, literally, but Republicans as a group will argue, whether it's Romney, Santorum, or Paul, who emerged from the fray tonight, they're arguing that the Obama administration has more than doubled down on the deficit it inherited, and that the U.S. Supreme Court will take up whether Americans should be forced to have an individual mandate and that nobody in Congress, Democrats included, seem to be getting much done. They're calling the last Congress a do-nothing Congress. How will the president with unemployment hovering over eight and a half percent respond to those charges? Well, I, I think that uh, that last point that you made about Congress is the best one. If you look at, at the way that leadership in Congress has behaved, if you look at the decisions that Speaker Boehner has made in trying to reach out, not to the Democrats, not to the American people, but instead to the small Tea Party caucus within his Congress, putting at risk America's credit rating, almost driving us into default, uh, and at the same time, uh, almost causing unemployment, the unemployment benefits to get cut dramatically, uh, refusing to extend payroll tax cuts. I think the, the gridlock in Washington starts with Speaker Boehner and, and the Tea Party members of Congress. Uh, the American people want Congress to work on their behalf. That requires some compromise. We're just not seeing it from, from our Republican friends. Very briefly, is that a dicey position to take when it's the democratically led U.S. Senate that failed to come up with the budget the last few years? And do you worry as a Democrat uh, and longtime incumbent that people are going to say, we're tired of all of you and uh, that the axe will fall on a lot of people this fall, Dems and Republicans. Yeah, I, I completely understand why people are frustrated and they have a right to be. And, and I think what we saw at the end of the year and the willingness of, of Speaker Boehner to act in a way that almost caused taxes to go up for 160 million working Americans, uh, we, we saw that the decisions that are being made really aren't being made in the best interest of the American people. Uh, we need the Speaker, we need Republican leadership in the House to work with the Democrats in the House, to work with the Senate, and to work with the President to put America back to work. That's what has to happen. That's what the American people want. And if it doesn't happen, I think they'll see clearly why that is. Congressman Deutsch, thanks for taking a few moments to be with us as the battle is joined on all sides over the payroll tax and campaign 2012. My pleasure. Thank you.